now we're off to our second point, 2,500 PSI. It's also indicated 2 of 9. So let's go ahead and use the variable volume to get up to 2,500 PSI. Say we're near 2,500 PSI. Now typically in a gauge calibration, you want to get to a cardinal point. So we're going to use the variable volume to get right to that 2,500 PSI. Now that we're at 2,500 PSI on the gauge, we want to make sure that our ready indication is green. If it's green, that indicates that the stability of the pressure is stable enough to go ahead and take that point. To take that point, we want to go ahead and push enter. That sharp tone means that it was intolerant. So go ahead and push enter one more time to acknowledge that you have taken the point. And it says set 5,000 PSI, 3 of 9. So now let's go ahead and go to 5,000 PSI. You can see how easy it is to generate the pressure with one hand. Okay, we're near 5,000 PSI. And that looks about right from this angle. Look down, we're not ready yet, we're still red. I'm gonna wait for stability, and there it goes, it's green. This is a great tool for a technician because there's no guesswork in when it's ready or when it's not ready. You're not waiting too long, you're not taking the point too quickly. Verify that you're at 5,000 PSI. Again, looks pretty close from this angle. So go ahead and push enter. Get that tone again. Acknowledge the entry. And now we're off to four of nine. 7,500 PSI. Okay, we're at 7,500 PSI. We're red, we're not ready yet. So as soon as it becomes green, I can go ahead and push enter to take that point. We are green and ready. Verify you're about 7,500. I was off, so I need to get up to 7,500 PSI. We're there. We're still green, so we're still ready. So we can go ahead and take that point. That value, that tone that you just heard, is the tone that says out of tolerance, and it also indicates OT, out of tolerance. Every single one of these points, in tolerance or out of tolerance, is being logged internally on the RPM4, where you can retrieve these values either via a computer or you can go back on the main run screen and observe what those values are. You can store up to 10 files. So push enter to acknowledge it. Now we're going to 10,000, full scale of the device. Ten thousand psi. The effects that pressure have on um, stability. If you go to a pressure very, very quickly, a high pressure very, very quickly, what can happen is two different things: vessel expansion and thermal expansion. Vessel expansion is when the fluid goes to a higher pressure and forces the inside diameter of the tubing out. And because volume is indirectly proportional to pressure, as the volume increases, as the inside diameter of the wall of those tubes increase, the volume increases, the pressure decreases. You see this effect on anything out there that you would generate pressure on. The electronic deadweight tester has very thick walled tubing. So that, that factor is diminished or is reduced significantly compared to more thin-walled uh, tubing. The other effect is a thermal effect. Temperature and, uh, temperature and pressure are directly proportional. So as temperature increases, pressure increases. As temperature decreases, pressure decreases. Well, as you're generating these pressures, you have all these molecules inside the tube that are getting more and more compact. As it gets more compact, 
friction occurs, creating warmer temperatures. So the fluid in the actual vessel starts to heat up. Well, because it's metal tubing, eventually that oil is going to come to equilibrium to outside temperature. Outside temperature is going to be cooler since pressure and temperature are directly proportional as temperature drops, comes back to ambient conditions, the pressure will drop. Significantly less of an effect than vessel expansion, but it's something that you should be aware of. So let's bring it back up to 10,000 PSI and see if we're ready. We are ready. I'm going to go ahead and push enter and it's out of tolerance. So now I'm going to push enter one more time to acknowledge that and now we're going to go back to 7,500 PSI. On this next point, I'd like to show you the fine adjust valve, which is also the test shutoff valve. So as I get close to 7,500 PSI, let's say you wanted to use the fine control. I haven't had to use the fine control this entire test up to 10,000 PSI. At the higher pressures, it becomes more of a factor. So right now, what I can do is I can use this as a small variable volume. So I can pull it out to reduce the volume. Volume is indirectly proportional. So as I reduce volume, the pressure is going to go down. I'm at approximately 7,500 PSI. Am I ready? Yep. Go ahead and push enter. Still out of tolerance. Acknowledge it. Now we're going to 5,000 PSI. That's close. Are we ready? No, we're not ready. And you can see the needle is actually going up. Again, because of vessel expansion, same thing. The pressure inside of the, um, inside the tubing is reducing. So now the inside diameter of those tubing is actually contracting, thus reducing the volume. Reducing the volume causes pressure to go up. So let's readjust. That seems about right. Are we ready? Yes, we are. Push enter to acknowledge it. It's intolerance, just like it was before. Push enter to go to the next point. At 2,500 PSI, wait till it's green. Make a slight adjustment because it has gone up in pressure slightly. It's green. Go ahead and press enter. This one is out of tolerance. Push enter. Now it says to set zero pressure. To set zero pressure, I recommend reducing it to about, I don't know, 100 PSI or 500 PSI. And go ahead and open up the reservoir isolation valve. See if we're ready. We are ready. Push enter to acknowledge it. Now it gives you a menu structure that we can decide to rerun the test, to do a new test, to look at the data, and that's how simple it is.